Hey guys, welcome to my channel Electronicspedia. In this video, I am going to explain about APB retransfer. In my previous video, I have explained about APB write transfer along with the waveform. If you haven't watched that video, please do watch. I have given the link in the description box and you can also click on the i button above. So let's get started. So uh, I'll just draw the uh, you know uh, waveforms. With the help of the waveforms, I'll try to explain the retransfer. So this is my P clock. And uh, this is my P address. It is asserted here. So this is a uh, address zero. zero and then I have a signal called P select which is asserted over here and uh, the next signal is P enable so the P enable has to be asserted next clock cycle after the P select so this is my P uh, next clock cycle here the P cell is uh, getting asserted in the next clock cycle the P enable is asserted. Now next signal is P write. So the P write is basically uh, uh, it's a, it should be a zero because we are doing the read transfer and then next is uh, this is a read operation right. So then here uh, the these are the signals which are asserted by the master and then at the slave side then comes the uh, the signal called P ready P ready and then we have the P R data which is a read data and then P slave error so ok so here my uh, enable is asserted that means uh, this is my setup phase and this is my access phase after that so here also just like similar to the APB write transfer, we will have a wait state also for the reads. If my slave is ready with the data, then means uh, or if the slave is ready to give the data, right? So that time it can assert this P ready. So now here assume uh, here itself in the next clock cycle, if the P ready is asserted, right? That means what happens my data is already available by this slave this is my data 0 this is my data 0 now as per the protocol once my p ready is asserted by the slave the next clock cycle here right my p enable should go low okay and then my p ready also can go low here in the same clock cycle if my, my if the slave is uh, you know it's not implementing uh, always ready kind of conditions right so it means if the slave is not ready always so that time it can choose to assert this p ready low next clock cycle so then whatever the data in this window right so this uh, as similar to the uh, apb write transfer so this is the window where my p and uh, p ready p select okay this is my p select and a p enable all of these are high so that time my the read trans uh, read transaction is a valid transaction read is a valid when all of this p cell p enable and p ready are high so now um, I have a, one more signal over here which is P slave error. So this is a uh, slave error is basically is a you know gets asserted if the slave wishes to return a error response. So it could be because of multiple reasons. Once it could be because of the slave um, the write uh, the read data it's a garbage or it may be a uh, it may it may not be uh, addressing to a particular region so that meaning uh, as I explained so there could be some of the address uh, uh, holes where if it is the master is trying to access 
right so that time it can choose to assert this slave error so that uh, this slave error also has to be here only right so that means during win this window if the p slave error is asserted when all of these signal are high so that time my read valid whatever it's a read transaction it's a valid transaction of course this is a valid transaction but the slave has you know chosen to uh, assert this uh, error response that means my read data has to be discarded by the master of course it can take it but the slave cannot guarantee that it's a proper data if the master considers this data based upon only these three signals p enable p cell and the p ready if it considers this data then the slave cannot guarantee that it's a uh, uh, the uh, you know uh, proper data because it has already asserted a error response so it's the duty of the master to look for this signal also because if this is asserted so that means the, it the data can be a garbage value that means it can be any usually what happens is uh, if the, uh, some say when the slave is trying to assert uh, this uh, you know error response so that means that time we prop usually this data will be all zeros or sometimes it can be all ones but mostly it will be all zeros only so that means it doesn't have any value so this is about the read transfer okay so here if my read uh, if the slave is always ready right so that time what it can do is it can choose to assert this ready always okay it can choose to assert this ready always so that means as soon as my enable is high over here so this window itself my data is valid okay this is my valid read transaction so that that means whatever the data that is returned by the slave during the, um, this particular window so this is my uh, data right this is my data so this will be considered as a valid data if the slave response is not there okay slave error response is not there that means this is a valid data but if the slave chooses to you know uh, 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 you know if the slave is not ready if it chooses to de assert this p ready right so that means here it's a period is zero and if it comes over here so that means basically it is trying here if you see there is a wait cycle so this is about the you know uh, uh, read transfer with the wait cycles so i hope this you know information is uh, clear and uh, okay so did i miss anything so, okay no oh, yeah so i think we are all good uh, but uh, in the like you know this slave error is also you know applicable for the write transfer also so you should uh, uh, the master should look for this particular slave, slave error during when all of these uh, you know p cell p enable and p ready are asserted so if this is asserted then the data is uh, you know gar it, it can contain a garbage value so that needs the master needs to you know drop off that particular data otherwise it can consider the data so this is about the basic uh, you know apb retransfer so i'll come up with the more such videos please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you